Welcome back, fuckers, to another episode of Win Outdoors with Anne. Um, today we are going bass fishing. It's gonna be a really quick vlog. I got roughly two hours to try and get my hands on a bass. Uh, I have a few spots that I would like to hit. Um, literally what's gonna happen is I'm gonna cast maybe 10, 10, 12 times in each direction. If there's no bass there, I'm gonna keep moving. It's kind of like a trail around this pond. So we're gonna hit a couple spots. I only have two hour time crunch because my brother is getting out of his college admission orientation, whatever bullshit it is. I don't know, but I have to go pick him up. So I just thought I would vlog a little bit and take you guys along with me and Hopefully I'll get some footage. Um, I'm literally, this is a raw footage. I don't know if we're gonna catch fish today. I don't know if we will. Yes or no, we're still gonna have a great time. I also brought my GoPro with me. So we're gonna have a lot of uh, point of view type of videos. And it is also my goal to do more POV videos um, on all of my fishing content and even hunting as well. So yeah, come tag along with me and we're gonna see what we're gonna catch. All right, y'all, just got to the lake. Got my rod right here, backpack with all my plastics and GoPro straps on me. So we are going to see what we're gonna get. Probably not the best idea to wear jeans today, but uh, <laughs> bear with me. Of course, I'm gonna change my setup here. Just ignore this. <laughs> oh, I guess I can see around the lake. But yeah, I mean, there's actually cut that goes out to the lake for us to fish at. I don't have my boots on or anything, and I really don't want to get a tick on me, so we're just gonna walk around. All right, so the first spot was a no-go. Um, Reason being, there was already a person down there and out of respect, I didn't want to like bombard him, you know. It's just common courtesy, guys. Uh, if I was in his position, of course, I don't want someone just to be right next to me, even though I don't own the lake. Again, it should be common courtesy. Like if it's a whole big lake with lots of open spots, you can find another spot, be respectful. Just how I am. Not trying to say that everyone should follow what I do, but I'm just telling you guys what I usually do. Um, as much as I want to get on fish, there's always plenty of places to fish at. Here's the lake, y'all. Someone's flying a kite over there. <laughs> just kidding, I have to go back and grab my camera or my phone. I'm filming on my iPhone 13 Pro Max, guys. <sighs> I recently bought a new camera and I haven't really used it just because, I don't know, filming with the iPhone is just so much more convenient. And yeah, I don't know. Right, y'all, first open spot. All right, you guys, I just filmed everything and my head was cut off, so I'm gonna refilm it. So I got this basket at Walmart um, for multiple reasons. This was only 10 bucks and it had a really good variety of plastic baits that I could use for bass. The lake that I am fishing at is pretty clear. So in the beginning, I did not know that usually people go by this. Um, clearer water means lighter bait, even though in the beginning I thought it was clearer water, darker bait, darker water, clearer bait or brighter baits. But sometimes you'll have to switch it up. You don't even know what they're going to bite today. So since it's clearer water, I am going to start off with, I believe this is called green pumpkin watermelon flake. I'll show you guys up close. Okay. And yeah, I tied everything earlier. It looks a little bit messy, but basically I got a quarter ounce 
a split shot weight, a size six offset worm hook, and I got that plastic on here. So we're gonna see how it goes. This is eight pound line. Yeah, I'm gonna turn on my GoPro and see what we're gonna get. It's pretty open if you guys can't see, but yeah. I'm gonna turn this off real quick. What the fuck? There's so much fucking weeds here, guys. Which is a good thing, but also a bad thing too, because my shit is getting stuck. Yeah. So much fucking weeds. So, what I'm usually gonna do, well, usually what I do is cast 10 to 12 times. Oh God, fuck. I can literally see my bait getting stuck in the weeds. Yeah, shit, man. The water's pretty shallow here. I'm probably gonna move. But usually what I do is that I cast 10 to 12 times per direction, like left, middle, and right. And if I don't get anything, I don't get anything, I literally move to a different spot. So, but since this place is really full of weeds and shallow at the same time, Probably gonna move. All right, this spot seems a little bit more um, deep. Got some clear to see, less weeds. Still some weeds, but we're gonna try it out. Oh, I see a bass right there. Right. Right. I see him right there. He looks like a one pounder. Okay, let me try to... Okay, he's coming. Dude, he completely dissed my fucking bait. Damn, dude. Yeah, that was a one pounder. Never got really, I don't know why I got so excited, but <sighs> didn't seem interested in my bait. Okay, we're gonna try to recast a couple more times and then we're gonna change colors as well. They're definitely in here. It's just the matter of getting them to freaking bite. Cast to the right. Oh, that's a horrible cast, but I'll take it. Yo, change of colors. So remember when I told you guys clear water means 
lighter colors. Well, fuck that shit. This is usually my go-to bait right here. Um, I've caught so many freaking bass on this color. It's the Blue Flex uh, Bass Pro Shop brand. But these are my go-to. So we're, gonna, we're just gonna see what, if they're gonna bite this. Even though crystal clear water, fuck the rules. Sometimes you just gotta bend it. There it goes. I'll be so stoked just to get a one pounder. So usually what I do is I slow, it's a slow retrieval and then I bounce it up, down, let it float to the bottom. All right, so today concludes the vlog. It's been two hours, gotta pick up my brother, but caught nothing, but it's okay. I hope you guys really do enjoy this little vlog and me chit chatting with y'all. Um, pretty relaxing day. Nonetheless, it was enjoyable. And just because I didn't catch fish doesn't mean I'm not gonna come back out. Uh, I'll definitely, definitely, definitely keep you guys in tuned. Um, next month I'm heading out to Alaska for sockeye salmon and halibut. So I'm literally constantly cranking out YouTube videos. So be sure to check out my YouTube channel. Subscribe if you didn't already. If you guys like and comment down below on what you would like to see, please let me know. Um, but other than that, thank you guys for watching my YouTube video. And see you on the next one. Bye.